away from that to Oweri in Imo State. Following recent reports on the prevalence of domestic violence in Nigeria, there is definitely need for great concern and societal intervention. Miriam Onyevule, our correspondent in Oweri, spoke to residents of Imo State and stakeholders who have shed light on the effects and, of course, reasons for the prevalence of this problem. Her report. Domestic violence occurs across the world in various cultures and affects people across societies. In Imo State, notwithstanding the integration of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act in 2021, the problem of domestic violence has remained. Kingsley, a resident in Oweri, believes that a harsh economic situation is a major factor for race prevalence. Uh, why I think it's there, there could be a number of reasons why it is prevalent now. Um, obviously, we live in hard times. Okay, there is a lot of pressure currently, economically mostly. Um, you know. Um, families are not finding it easy, tempers flaring. Uh, so um, I'm not surprised that it's getting more prevalent now. Speaking to Afia TV, Ernest Owu, the Commander National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons in a state chapter, mentioned that men also face abuse. It's happening. While I was in Abuja, I investigated so many cases that uh, involved uh, women against men. But you know, because of ego men being what they are they swallow this pride a lot of men don't want to voice out but there are occasions that men can come come out to say i'm being my i'm being violated violence is being meted on me by my wife almost on daily basis i say man who came who was crying that every time there is issue the woman will pounce on him but uh, in the patriarchal world that we are it's always difficult for men to come up to own up Kingsley also believes that societal or family patterns has caused domestic violence to leave a stubborn ink. That thing, I believe, is why it has been there for a long time, is that children who grow, grow up in homes where there is domestic violence tend to imbibe that and see it as a norm. So when they too become adults, become parents, become husbands, become wives, the only way they see fit to express or let out such emotions is by lashing out physically. So um, the home is important, it is an important factor. Nancy, another resident, believes that people, especially women who are in abusive relationships, should leave by all means. My, you cannot marry and then the best thing my is it. you have to leave and you don't want to die. Eh? So they will have to leave the marriage. Mm -hmm. And they should stand in jail. They stand in jail now. But for me, me, I will leave. The state commander for NAPTIP emphasized on the need for victims to speak up so that the abusers can face the wrath of the law. And I keep saying, if it happens once, you enjoy it. Don't allow it to happen again because it's a signal, it's a dangerous moment that something is going to happen. People have to be careful and be ever ready to voice out where incidences occur because that's the only way you, you, you can get safety. Law enforcement agencies can come in and step in and arrest the situation where people can come and know what is happening. Even in the course of a critical injury, where people one way or the other should be able to know that this is what is happening. Victims of domestic violence are known to face psychological issues like depression, suicidal thoughts, and even death in extreme cases. So, there is an urgent need for continuous awareness of its consequences on the abused, the abuser, and the society at large. In a worry, Miriam Onyebule for Afia TV.